Hi, my name is Cesar Nader. I'm the CEO and president of XCorp Solutions. Again, it's interesting that a guy like me could achieve what some would say is success. I don't see it as success. I just see it as another stage in my development as a professional, as an entrepreneur. When I wanted to become a federal contractor, I knew nothing, absolutely nothing. I was an operator. I knew how to move, shoot, and communicate. You told me as a Marine, there's a target. I had to hit that target. You told me we got to deploy, just tell me when and where, and we're there, right? Flexible, agile, scalable, that's the Marine Corps. So I spent countless hours coming through the SPA site, contracting 101, how to start a business, what's a DUNS number, what's a CAGE code, what's a TIN, how to form your business, where to incorporate, what's the benefits of LLC versus S Corp versus C Corp, should you have partners? Should, be a, should you be a sole proprietorship? It was just endless. But the way that the website was written, the way that it was able to tell me where to look for what and how I was able to research things, invaluable, invaluable. The SBA didn't give me all the answers. It taught me where to look for the answers. So the company started in 2011 and at that time I remember we had been in business for maybe three months and we had three employees to begin with my three first hires they were all of them are still with me except one she's back in the military and they've remained with me ever since that says something about the quality of the people that I hired and the culture of our company and commitment to hire veterans that was 2011. We made 30,000 that year. We have moved now, we're five years old, and we now have 88 employees. The consequence of that, of course, the pain of growing is that you keep having to ensure that your systems are robust and that your policies are correct. And I've had exceptional partnerships with people that have been very, very generous, like Gabe, from Patricia Enterprises, Tony Williams from GRS, Nathan McCurry from Pluribus International, Dan Burkham from Coleman International. Owners that have taken me under their wing. And that's just to name a few, because I've had tremendous support. There's no way I could have done this alone. And there's no success that comes from just an individual uh, walking the path by himself. I've been able to ring a bell, sound an alarm, pick up the phone, or just talk on somebody's code and say, can you help me? And they always answer that call. And so where we are today is the consequence of having those amazing relationships with other business owners that have been just as committed to growing their company as seeing X Corp grow. So now that we are this size, we look, up, look back at how we started. And one of the things we did right, when we started the company, and I say we, I started the company, we wanted to operate as if we were one of the big companies. Pick one, any one of them, of the largest contractors in the U.S. contracting world. I wanted to operate like them from the get-go, even though I had three employees. I wanted to have a benefits package that wasn't the least beneficial to the employees. I wanted to have a, a good benefits package. I wanted to have systems, accounting, finance, legal counsel, HR, timekeeping, expense, the whole thing. Because we knew that if we operated like a big company, as we grow, the transition will be simpler and much smoother than if we just started with mom and pop shop in the garage and we'll add stuff as we go along. Certainly now we're improving, we're refining, we're tweaking. I tell my staff that every year we're gonna look at three things. How to be more efficient, how to be more proficient, and how to improve our processes. That is our theme every single year. And the other theme I live by, my staff will laugh about this, is I tell my staff, every day is a Monday. Expect the crisis to occur at any time. Because we believe that if you're ready for it, it won't be a crisis. It'll just be the way we do business.